old Dunham's got in my wallet yet again. Oh, telling you what, that place is gonna literally drain my wallet one of these days. Yo! Yeah, sorry. Sorry guys, I almost forgot to do the intro there. Yeah, old Dunham's gets into Bobby's wallet yet again. Oh my goodness, check this out. $31.99 with tax, $35.22. Wow. Oh man, I do not miss buying three and a half inch shells. Like most of you know, I haven't shot a three and a half inch shell for I don't know how long. And I haven't owned a three and a half inch chambered shotgun in even longer. And that's probably one of the reasons that hefty little price tag right there. Now these are of course the more expensive shells on the shelf. Now I did end up buying the most expensive shells on the shelf due to the fact that I wanted the biggest load. The heaviest ounce three and a half inch shell that I could find. Now I probably could have found some more powerful shells online if I would have ordered them. But I wanted to go uh, locally and see what they had. And the best they had was ounce and five eighths BB. And no, I don't like paying $32, $35 with tax for one box of shells. But real quick in other news, I'm actually headed to the field so we can do uh, this here video. I'm excited, I've been excited to do this video. Um, it's been on my mind a lot of years, you know, because I just shoot. I only have a three inch chambered gun and I actually have three of them now. And it's like, what if I accidentally put a three and a half inch shell on accident in my three inch chambered shotgun and go boom. So that's what we're gonna see today. But until then, look at this. Well, there's a group of them. Yep. Well, they're right where I figured they would be, just like last year. And about one, two, three, four, five, six hens. Not a bad little group. They're still grouped up here in Kansas. They haven't spread out much. So I'm just kind of twiddling my thumbs, waiting for them to uh, spread out a little bit, get out of their big groups. But you guys have been asking, Bobby, are you gonna do any turkey hunting? And of course I'm gonna do turkey hunting. I do turkey hunting every season. I wouldn't miss it. So if you guys are looking for some turkey videos, some turkey scouting videos, let me know down below if you wanna see some uh, turkey scouting videos. But enough jabbering, let's get to the field and do this deal. But really guys, what happens if you put a three and a half inch shell in a three inch chambered shotgun and it goes boom? I mean, honestly, it's a theory that I've thought of for a long time. I know a lot of my buddies have thought of for a long time. And I guess if you just buy a three and a half inch chambered shotgun, That'll accept two and three quarters, three inch and three and a half. So you probably never have to worry about this problem. But if you're anything like me, I haven't had a three and a half inch chambered gun, man, in probably over eight years. But we are back at the range and I got the vice again. Look, I know the last video of the mud in the barrel was great. I thought it was an awesome video and extremely informative. That video, like I've said, I don't know how many times, it's probably going to save multiple persons' lives. Heck, it could probably end up saving my life. Because honestly, being the one here to witness the damage, I could only imagine if someone got hit with the shrapnel or that choke flying out. But, oh yeah, YouTube still hasn't monetized that video. They don't like it. What do you do? So, what do we do? <laughs> we do another video. And we'll see if they like this one. Because this one, I don't think so. So here's my thoughts on how I think this is gonna go. And you guys, drop your comments down below right now. Give me your two cents, say, hey, Bobby, this is how I think it's gonna go. Is it gonna blow up? I mean, is the thing just gonna go Or my thoughts of what might happen is it'll go boom. I don't think anything's gonna blow up. I just think that I haven't even tried to put a shell in this gun. So I don't even know if it will fit a three and a half inch in it. So we'll see here in a minute. But my theory is, is that it will go boom and that it probably just won't eject the shell very well. But you never know. Uh, I the, the, last, <laughs> the last one with the mud in the barrel completely surprised me. I know it surprised all you guys as well. I couldn't believe the damage. So 
in gun safety this is what this video is based over is gun safety guys this is a reminder to always pay attention to what shell you are putting inside your chamber of your shotgun your rifle anything today it's going to be shotgun but you get the you get what I, where i'm going with that guys gun safety is huge uh i've been wanting to preach it on the channel more and this is how by bringing entertaining videos that we all wonder what might happen if we do something so first and foremost before we get started here i'm telling you what i have uh i haven't shot my shotgun here for a while and especially i haven't shot a whole tube of shells it was probably i don't know what was that two or three pigeon hunts ago so i need to get fired up i need to get the blood pumping up in here and you know there's only one way that bobby can get his blood really pumping and that is to rack off a tube of good old two and three quarter lead shot. Let's give her a whirl. Woo! That rang my bell. <laughs> Yay! So those are actually really powerful two and three quarter inch shells there. Those are ounce and three eighths. Those are actually the uh, golden pheasant loads from <laughs> Fiaci and wow that was nice so check check her out guys let's uh take a look at her look at that so this is the gun from the shotgun mud in the barrel video a couple videos ago and uh, as you guys remember the barrel was just completely just split its wig wide open uh, i actually fixed it so we're going to get a few more goes out of the old TriStar here, uh, and I'm glad because I don't want to use the old Franke for any of these types of videos. Now, look at her, all purdied up. Not the best, but you know what? It'll do, it'll do. As you can tell, the discharge handle is gone. It's been gone for, I don't know, a lot of years, and this is what I usually have to do. Use a screwdriver or a pick or something, and... Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and see if this three and a half inch shell fits. Oh my goodness, barely. Look at that. Look, I mean, barely. Oh boy. Well, she's in there. Whew, just got her all rigged up here. Check it out. It's still a little nipply out. It's like 49 degrees. So if you guys are liking these videos, please, please, please. Give your boy a big old thumbs up, and just like the last video, I said uh, if this video gets to 1,000 likes, I will uh, be coming with the next one, you know, along the same lines, and you guys crushed it. It's like at 2,000 likes. So, that's why this video is here, like I promised. So what we're gonna do is I got another video in mind that you guys are absolutely gonna love. So, again, if this video can get to 2,000 likes, I'll be sure to bring you the next video, which again, you guys are gonna love. It's along the same lines as the mud in the barrel. And just like this one, it's something we've always thought about happening. So, if this doesn't finish off the gun, I can guarantee you the next video is gonna finish off that gun and, and I'm not gonna be able to, to uh, reuse the old TriStar again on the next video. So, like I said, let's get this video to 2,000 likes. If we do, I'm telling you the next video, this bad boy probably won't survive. I hope it survives this one. I hope it survives, but I don't. Again, drop your comment down below. What's going to happen here? We got her all rigged up. Got the string on the trigger. Here we go. It probably will come out of the vise a little bit, just flop around. But let's turn on the old GoPro here. Ready to go there. Let's take her off safety. All right. This is the part I always like because you never know what's about to happen. Again, I kind of hope the gun survives because the next video is going to be epic. I'm serious. Here's our rope here. All right, I'm behind the truck here. Let's give her a pulley. There it is. That definitely sounded bigger than a three-inch shell because it was. Let's see what we got here. Oh, just like I expected. Look, it just didn't eject it. Check that out. I don't see the barrel inflamed. The chamber isn't really inflamed. Oh man, I gotta see if I can get this thing out of here. Shouldn't be too hard, right? 
Oh, well, this is so before I get it out of there, you can tell. Hope that you guys can see it. Look at that cartridge, how it's compressed. There was no room for it to get out, so it just that cartridge slammed into that firing pin hard and it didn't let it leave at all. So, man, that's probably issue number one is trying to get your shell out of your gun after making the mistake there it is but not a lot of damage it did compress that shell quite a bit because there wasn't any room for it to escape out of the chamber but other than that got a little dirt on the barrel from where she flopped around poor girl but other than that the gun really looks good to go well that's good and bad news because I wanted there to be a little more action than that but it's just what I expected. The, the three and a half could not eject. Again, if we can get this video to 2,000 likes, guys, which I'm sure you guys will do that for me, this gun, this might be its good, <laughs> this might be its last days because this gun on the next video is probably going to get wrecked. Now again, guys, this video is for safety purposes. That Just because that didn't do anything crazy or blow up doesn't mean that all you guys can go out there putting three and a half inch shells in your three inch guns just because you want to shoot three and a half. Now, remember people, three and a half inch chambered guns are made for that load size, for that ounce and five eighths. Three inch chambered guns, they're not constructed for that big of a shell, obviously, because it won't even get rid of the, the empty cartridge. Honestly, guys, always pay attention to what shells you're loading in your gun just like uh, I'll show you something look at this check this out so right here this three and a half inch shell look at it you can barely read it has been rolling around in my truck right up there where I just grabbed it from for I don't know months and months and months probably since the last time I hunted with probably flair because he's really the only one that I hunt with that uses three and a half inch shells just think if I grabbed it and maybe we had a different situation where the gun did blow up. It, what if we had a situation like the, the barrel plug full of mud incident? I mean, that's a bad deal, right? So, just because this gun didn't do anything gnarly doesn't mean that another gun won't. Again, guys, it's my last time saying it. Please, gun safety is huge here on the channel. I preach it. I try to do my best uh, with what I got and with what I do by doing everything the safest possible. Sometimes, most of the time, I feel like I do do a very good job. Sometimes, maybe not so much, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do for the vlog. That's why we use twine on the trigger. And that's why I put the gun in the vise every time that I do these videos, because there's no way that your boy's gonna be holding that gun. Oh, but you know me, I can't just stop there. There wasn't near enough action on this video. I'm telling you, if you know me by now, your boy needs boom. Bobby needs bang. So what we're going to do, I got some more of these ounce and three eighths heavy hitting little, I mean, look how stubby those little shells are and they are just loaded. These golden pheasants are just powerful little hammers, let me tell you. Got a little ball type thing. Looks like other people have just been shooting the heck out of it. Let's roll her on out there and give her a couple hammers. She did. He did. It's dead. I love my shotgun though. But I got to tell you guys, we have a new shotgun coming. I just bought it. It's on its way. I cannot wait till it gets here. It's literally one of the most unique guns that I will own. And it's probably going to be one of my most favorites because I've wanted this gun forever. And when I get it, you guys are going to be like, ah, oh, yep, that's that, that there is a Bobby type of gun right there. So I'm extremely excited to show that to y'all, so be expecting that. And again, guys, if you guys want to see the next video, it's, it's probably going to wreck the old TriStar. Going to be a bad deal for old girl. But like always, guys, pick up your empties. But guys, if you haven't, go over to DucksWaterfowl.com. I'll link all this gear down in the description below. But subscribe if you haven't, guys. We will see you guys on the next one. Have a good day, y'all. Peace.